my special privilege to introduce to you Mr. Austin Lapp. I didn't get a chance to do it in person last night because he was missing, but this is Austin, and he's part of the fearless class of 2022, the, the inaugural class. And he's going to kind of give you guys a little speech here that it's a, it's a tradition that once everybody's agonized up their way up the mountain, they, you have to hear an inspirational speech, and it has to, happens to fall on Austin's shoulders today. <laughs> All right, so uh, welcome to Mount Monadnock. Good job, everyone. You did it. Woo! So take a moment and look. Like, look around you. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I think this is one of the most, uh, perhaps one of the most magnificent things about hiking is getting views like this. And I think there are there are several things that this conjures up for me. So one is praise. We all have these, these peaks, these high points. Um, as you as you dive into journey group, you'll hopefully get to do, do this, where you uh, think about a timeline of your life and 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 note the the high points, like where are really influential points for you in your life. And I think as we do that, that ought to engender this deep humility within us and praise to God for the ways that He's orchestrated our lives and and brought about these peaks. So the first thing that I want you to think about in a place like this is just reflection and praise, like thankfulness uh, for the, the place that God has brought you from. And entering my third year now, it's, it's kind of surreal to think back to when I was a freshman sitting right here. Um, looking back from the peak of freshman year to the peak of junior year, amazing. I'm telling you, like the amount of life change that happens that has happened for me in these two years is incredible. And I think for you all, keep that in mind. Like there is, there will be continued peaks. Anticipate the peaks that are coming, uh, the growth that you'll see in your own life. So that's the first thing, reflection and praise. The second thing uh, that a mountain like this engenders for me is that, that there are giants in this world that need to be conquered. There are giants in this world that need to be conquered. Um, and I hope that we could all have the heart of David, where if we see this giant, we set our eyes on this giant and we say, that giant is going to fall. So what do I mean by a giant? So there's the giant of Islam. There's the giant of pornography, human trafficking, poverty. Uh, there's you know, a host of giants in our world that are waiting to be conquered for the kingdom. And just how, in, in the same way that we labored and labored, there were times for some of us coming up this mountain, we're like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Like, I don't know if I can do this, literally, I'm going to die. And th in, in, in life, as you go after these giants, as you set your sights, there will be those moments as well, where you say, I don't know if I'm going to make it, I'm going to die. And at that point, as a Christian, we say, that's okay, right? So... So mountains, I think, should call that out in us as humans, as, as Christians, as followers of Christ, that we have to see these mountains and we want to plant a flag. We want to plant a flag for the kingdom. And then, the, so, so reflection and praise, and then giants that need to be conquered. And then the last thing is motivation. So why did we come to the mountain? Well, because Tyler organized this. And, you know, <laughs> I overheard someone saying that, man, we should have banded together, and I think if we would have gotten enough voices, we could have changed the activity, right? <laughs> so, um, motivation. So why did we do this? Why do we go after these other giants in the land? So, for some of us coming up here, maybe our motivation was like, man, I'm going to be up there first. Right? I'm going to plant my flag first. Uh, others, maybe just going to survive. <laughs> uh, others of us, you know, we come to the view. What about these giants, though, in the world that need to be conquered? Why do, Why are we going after them? Why are we seeking to plant a flag? And this is something that God has really been convicting me of in my own life, where I'm starting, I'm recognizing more and more the pervasiveness of pride in my heart, where I do these things because I want my brothers and sisters to see it and be like, wow, look at him. And recently I listened to a sermon called Ten Shekels in a Shirt. And the, the one takeaway that I want to leave with you today is that as we uh, conquer these giants, we traverse these mountain ranges. So your 
first one coming up here is this is semester one. You reach the end, and even uh, now, as you anticipate the challenge ahead, why are you doing what you're doing? Many years ago, there was there was a group of young men who heard about an island that had. Reflection and praise. Look at how what God has done in your life to bring you here. Uh, I think I've I've heard from a few of you that like the circumstances that have brought you here have been in like God has been at work. And rejoice in that. Survey the survey the giants. Seek the Lord. God, what giant do you want me to go after? Uh, and then go after that with the motivation that Jesus is worthy. He is sufficient. So that's my word for class of 2024.